Hey guys, welcome to Epatless Code Learning. I hope you are doing well. In this video, let's learn how to show duration picker inside Flutter application. So let's begin. To show duration picker, I will be using duration picker package. This package supports Android, iOS, web and desktop platforms. Now let's make change in main.py to show duration picker here. Here I will be using duration picker widget. This on change is mandatory property for this duration picker widget. It will return change time. Here the parameter will be of type duration. Now let us define variable of type duration. We will be assigning this change value to that variable as well as we will assign that variable to this duration picker to set the initial value. Here inside this on change callback handler, I will assign this change value to this duration variable. And below this, I will call set state for state change. So here you can see duration picker is shown on the screen. If you notice here, this selected value is not getting set for duration picker. So let's set the selected value to duration picker. Here you can see the change value is getting reflected on the duration picker and that's how you can change the value using the scroll thumb and the change value is shown here in this duration picker also you can change base unit of this duration picker using base unit property default base unit is minute For this base unit, you can see these possible values. You can set minute, second, hour or millisecond. Now let's set hour. Here you can see this duration picker is changed. Now it just shows hour. That's how you can show duration picker with minimum configuration. Now if you have a requirement to show this duration picker inside dialog box, then this package has show duration picker method which shows duration picker in dialog. We don't need to write separate code for this. Now let's see that. So here I will create button and on click of this button duration picker will be shown in the dialog. Now let's write code inside this on press callback handler of this show duration picker button. Let's make this method as async. Here you can see this context and initial time is mandatory parameter for this method. So let's set initial time. It is of type duration class. So let's set duration here. Now we have set initial time for this duration picker. Now let's check. Here you can see this duration picker is shown in the dialog with default value of 20 minute that I have set here. And on change of this scroll thumb, this value is getting changed. Now let us get this change value on click of this OK button. This show duration picker method returns the selected value. So let's assign value of this show duration picker inside variable of type duration class. So as soon as we click on OK button, the selected value will be assigned to this variable. Now let's show the selected duration inside snack bar. Let's check. Now I am clicking on OK button. The selected duration should be shown on snack bar. Here you can see this value is shown in snack bar. That's how you can show duration picker inside Flutter application. Also you can customize it based on your requirement. I hope this video was really helpful. 
do consider subscribing my channel and hit the bell button to get further notification on new videos. Thanks for watching the video.